Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radio Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. Uh, so quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon, and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon, or rising sign Cancer, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to give you a clearer, more complete picture of how how these are going to speak to you, which part of you I resonate with as a reader. Before we start, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week, in fact, before we get into that quick announcement, I am hosting an intuition activation webinar on the 20th of March. You will be able to get the link in the description box below. It would be amazing to see you there and you're going to see this popping up over the next few weeks all across the place. Uh, it would be lovely to have you there and it, not only is it going to be fun, but also there's going to be an activation part of it and on top of that there are going to be a couple of goodies that you can bag as a part of that as well. So if you're interested, please check it out. Your key to the week this week is the world card something about community something about your community the one that you are attached to in your locality or maybe even those that you're attached to online are pretty much showing up in a very powerful way so remember this card can often talk about a change in status but it and when we talk about a change in status we're talking about a big change that is being wrought in your life um, which is phen phenomenal, right? But for a lot of you this week, it's about your ties, whether this is your familial community, whether it's your friendship community, online, like I said, or literally in your locality. It's gonna be your people, your groups, your tribes that are gonna be really highlighted over the course of this week. Pay attention. I mean, there's nobody more connected to the fabric of the group, aside from maybe Aquarius, um, and I would probably say Sagis as well. You know, they're quite, yeah, I would probably say, you know, but when I talk about the tribe, I'm talking about literally like that Cancerian energy. It's almost like, in a way, and this might sound weird, but humor me, there's kind of like a, a spider sense to cancer. It's like they can feel the threads. It's like, oh, something's going on. Okay, so what can I do about that? This week, you are going to feel the ripples in your communities this week. And there isn't anybody really more uh, aware or... Um, equipped to uh, to assist this week so pay attention to where you're called to or drawn to this week because you will you you may either be called upon or you may be noticing something before it even shapes up for your actions and options this week you have the justice card so there is a sense here maybe some of you are committing to a new group maybe you're committing to finding a new group creating a new group or enhancing the group experience that you have or that you provide um the other thing is because it's the justice card this could see you looking into the possibilities of an idea that you have so this is maybe you know looking into um how to practically apply what is just an idea at this moment in time. There is a sense though that you're either committing, recommitting or um, rededicating to a group experience in some way, shape or form. For your communications and conversations, you have the Six of Pentacles. So for some of you, this looks like a week where you could literally be applying for funding, applying for loans, applying to uh, banks for any kind of reason. Uh, maybe this is for a loan, for a home, for a mortgage, for a select few of you. This may be something that you're doing on behalf of the community or maybe even for a family member. Um, I mean, luckily, Mercury is out of retrograde, so you have, you know, it's going to be picking up steam from here on in. Uh, it's still in shadow, but it's not retrograde, right? And it's not stationing. So this week, you've kind of got the go ahead. That Six of Pentacles coupled with the World card, though, there's a very strong sense of either charity, uh, local sort of support networks or support systems coming together, like the community coming together for a common cause. Like, um, I mean, this week, we could definitely see on the wider world stage we could see more protests we could definitely see something shaking up in the financial sector this week for sure um, so keep your eye on the news because i think we're going to be hearing and seeing some of that kind of stuff uh, more so than we have up until this point 
So for those of you that work for your uh, work for somebody else, um, this is great. I mean. If you wanna ask for a raise in your wages, if you wanna ask for more responsibility or even just more hours, um, especially if you're, if you're asking for more money this week and you frame it as I want more responsibility and more money, this week you could absolutely get a yes. Um, so use that to your best advantage. For those of you that are work for yourselves, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, um, this actually is quite a nice week because it kind of suggests that you either find a new source of revenue, uh, one that you hadn't explored until sort of now, or it looks like a contract is finally coming good. So something that you had maybe spent money on previously now starts to, to pay back, now starts to provide the dividends for all the hard work, effort, and resources that you pumped into it. They now start to come back to you, which is great. Uh, and then for your, um, for those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason, uh, this again, I mean, for me personally, this kind of suggests that you're the person that's going to be assisting with resources, even if that is just helping somebody fill out the forms that they need. Even this is uh, really just highlighting to somebody where they can find the resources that they need. Maybe, you know, for some of you, it might be that you are putting your hand in your pocket to assist someone. But for most of you, it looks like you're providing the support network to say, right, I can't help you with this, but here's where you'll be able to find what it is that you need. For your money and materials, you have the Hanged Man. All right, so this is an interesting card because it does, I mean, these three especially suggest some form of charity work, some sort of fundraising. There's definitely a strong sense as well of reaching out far and wide to provide resources, but not necessarily for yourself. I kind of feel like you're either the facilitator or the conduit for the finances that somebody else needs. This might be a small community within a larger community. It may be that you are um, you know, raising money for a shelter, maybe uh, raising money for a hospital, maybe a hospice, uh, you know, maybe possibly even for some of you as well, this could be a local community or like a farm, something to do with animals. It's very possible. There's a very strong element this week that cancer is playing that facilitating or supporting role to bring money to something that is either not generating it for itself or is in need but doesn't have the uh, you know access to the resources for any reason when it comes to your physical health and vitality this would be a very very good week to do some sort of detox work um, whether that is a social media detox whether it is uh, a toxic relationship detox whether it is a physical health detox like something this week and it's not about denying yourself it's about recharging yourself after you know maybe after burnout or doing something too much as an example um, every so often it's good to have no sugar to give your body and your adrenals a break this would be a great week to do that like something where you're taking something out of your um, not necessarily just your diet like something that you're consuming that you say actually you know what I can put this to the side for, for now it will give you um, a really strong what's the word it will it will help you enhance and strengthen your your body and your vital systems um, for your home and environment don't be surprised this week if you're having to bring somebody to the home maybe you're providing a safe space for somebody to to be maybe you're providing a safe space for for somebody to speak their truth, uh, to be honest about something. There's definitely a sense of you playing host this week, but to somebody that's having a very challenging time. For your love and relations, you have the King of Wands. This is really nice. I mean, for those of you that are partnered in, in relationships, very strong sense here of, you know, sensual times, sexual times, but also the laughter is back. You know, if you've had times over the last few weeks, as I'm sure many of you have, where, um, you know, there hasn't been so much laughter as there usually is, this week it's all coming back. This week there's a sense of humour. This week there is a sense of, uh, you know, the playfulness that you can have. The banter is coming back, like all of that. I really like this for those of you that are partnered. For those of you that are single, um, it could be through charitable works and efforts that you are meeting somebody or connecting with somebody that may very well feel like they switch you on. And the really interesting thing is I get the feeling that this person has been in your orbit 
but you've never really had time to connect. And I kind of feel like there's something about this person that gets you passionate or reignited in that passion for life and the zest for life. So really, really nice. In terms of familial ties as well, this would be a great week to, um, to maybe think about integrating some of your connections, whether this is your friends and your partner, whether this is your, um, you know, uh, work colleagues and, and friends or work colleagues and family, etc. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.